Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful time that we can come together again to worship you and also to listen to your word. As we continue the journey in the book of Acts, Lord, we ask the Holy Spirit to continue to teach us about what the Holy Spirit has done through the church, to the church, and also in the church. Father, we ask that you will teach us, guide us, give us understanding, and strengthen our faith as we receive and put all your words into practice, especially as we build up the community, the church, the body of Christ. Father, we commit this time into your hand. Bless us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, if you have someone with you, say to him or her, Canon is going to skip another chapter. <laughs> well, yeah, according to the, the series, uh, today we will uh, embark ourselves into chapter 5 in the book of Acts. So what happened in chapter 4? After chapter 3, you know, if you still look at it like a movie, you know what happened from chapter 3 when Peter, uh, in the name of Jesus, had, has healed uh, this lamb, a man who lamb, and uh, born, uh, uh, he, uh, since he was birthed, eh? since he was born. So this is something happened to him. After that, people were astonished and also amazed of what happened. Well, of course, Peter used that opportunity to preach another gospel to them, to preach another sermon to them, to talk about Jesus Christ to them again. Okay, So after that, because of this spread of teaching and also proclaiming the resurrections of uh, Jesus from the dead had greatly disturbed all this. As you look at chapter 4, it's mentioned the priest, the captain of the temple guard and the Sadducees. So they came up and uh, seized Peter and John in that evening and uh, put them into jail until the next day. Only then, they put them into trial. So during the trial in front of Caiaphas, Peter explained by preaching yet another gospel. You look at the opportunity and then uh, you preach again about Jesus Christ. And uh, after all his sharing, the Bible say, these people were astonished because this fisherman and an unschooled person, how can he know so much about the gospel, so much about the Messiah, so much about Jesus Christ? So, but then with their denial, uh, they tried to really stop him and uh, ask him not to preach anymore, right? Stop the spreading of any further of this kind of teaching about Jesus Christ among the people. So they warned them, uh, warned Peter not to do so. And uh, But in chapter, uh, verse 19, Peter and John reply, which is right in God's eye, to listen to you or to him? You'll be the judges. As for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Uh, of course, after further threats, they let them go. They could not decide how to punish them. The Bible says, because all the people were praising God for what had happened. For the man who was miraculously healed was over 40 years old. I mean, more than 40 years old, this person cannot walk, was crippled, but was miraculously healed under the name of Jesus Christ. So, of course, upon the release, Peter and John went back, gathered the people again. After they heard, uh, they hear the report, they raised their voice. The Bible say uh, in prayer and give thanks to God. After the prayer, the whole place shaken, and uh, then they continue right? in verse thirty-two. After they pray, the place was shaken. Uh, they were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Then verse 32, something happened in the church. Because of the work of the Holy Spirit, after all this incident, the believers 
started to share their possession among uh, everyone. Okay? So there no nothing they can claim that the possession was their own. They share everything they had uh, with great power. Uh, after they testified the resurrection of Jesus Christ, as the Bible say, and uh, the uh, God grace was so powerfully at work in them more than. Uh, there are no needy person among them. Everyone tried to sell their thing and put in front of the apostles' feet. Then Joseph, also the name uh, they call Barnabas, the son of encouragement, eh, uh, come to see whereby he also saw a few uh, he owned and brought the money and put at the apostles' feet. Okay? So this is what happened. After that uh, astonishing Eh, encounter between Peter and John with the cripple and with the, the priest and then with the people then the work of the Holy Spirit continue in the church where you see the generosity, generosity among the people helping one another building this body of Christ as the story continue we see Satan had failed to silence the witness uh, of the church but however as they say, the enemy never gives up. If the enemy cannot attack the church from outside, now I think uh, when we look at it, the enemy, Satan, has come up another plan to attack the church from inside. And that where the story continues. Something happened inside the church. Okay? That is chapter 5. So today we're going to learn from this with this title of listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit in another word if I want to say in the harsh way if we listen we live if we don't listen we will die eh? either die physically either it's immediately but definitely those who listen to the Spirit live according to the Spirit will have life those who do not will go toward destruction so what is it going to be how are we going to learn from this incident in chapter 5 between Annales and also Safira let us all uh, really open our heart and learn from this incident from this passage Amen well first one that we want to talk about is the hypocrisy of Annales and Safira Hi. Uh, what does it mean by hypocrisy? Basically, it's wearing a mask. <laughs> it's not like us now, we wear, we wear a mask. We wear a mask because of COVID-19 to protect. Uh, but this is something else. People who are wearing a mask and playing the actor uh, to pretend to be someone which is not the real them. So, in other words, hypocrisy also means deliberate deception trying to make people think we are more spiritual than we really are. That's how Jesus put it. Of course, George MacDonald, he, write, he wrote this. He said, half of the misery in the world, I believe also in the church, comes from trying to look instead of trying to be what one is not. That is the biggest a major issue in the world today and it's happened in the church so today we got to learn from this how important it is that we should and we must listen to the holy spirit then to fall into the trap of hypocrisy that is how the enemy satan tried to attack the church from inside so what happened in verse 1 to verse 2 in chapter 5 now a man named analyst also mean God is gracious. Together with his wife, Safira, also mean beautiful. Also sold a piece of property. No? After Joseph sold a few, now, now it mentioned about Annalise and Safira. With his wife full uh, knowledge, he kept back part of the money for himself, but brought the rest and put it at the apostle's feet. Both of them have a beautiful name, Annalise and Safira. God is gracious and also beautiful. <laughs> but they did not lift up to that standard. They are ugly inside. They have this 
hypocrisy in their life. Uh, instead of being sincere and honest uh, to put everything they they have sold, but then they keep back, they cut back some. Eh? In other words, they try to cheat over it. They try to put it there to say that I also give my my possession uh, so that people can praise and Hey, well done. I strongly believe people praise Joseph. They probably look for the same praise for the people. Hey, well done, Annalise and Sapphira. But yet, in verse 3 and yet verse 4, Peter said, Annalise, how is that Satan has filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and had kept of yourself some of the money you received from the or for the land? Didn't be, it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't that money, money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied to men, but to God. Hypocrisy had that deception that we think we, as we pretend to be someone which is not really us. We thought we can get through or be accepted by someone. We try to look instead of try to be. That make us in deceitful mind or the deceitful trap from the evil. We thought we can lie to men to pretend to be like one. But yet, Peter say, you did not lie to men, but you are lie to God. Huh. So hypocrisy is a great sin, I will say. That is a major issue among the priests. And Jesus had many times scolded them, confronted them, even put a woe to them. Woe to the hypocrisy. Woe to the hypocrite. Those who pretend to be someone that they not really are. So analysis here, it's, all, it's so obvious. Uh, it was stated here. Satan has filled your heart. Why is that sometimes we know it's wrong, yet we still need to pretend to be one? Because Satan has filled his heart. Instead of filled by the Holy Spirit, but he, will, he had allowed Satan to fill him at that time. No, we just take the calculation of the time, the st scripture that mentioned, the people, uh, all the people are gathered together. Eh? They obey, uh, they follow the apostle teaching. Uh, they break bread together. Eh? They have fellowship together. They devote themselves in prayer. All this, you know, they really share things in common. Analysts and Sophia are supposed to be like one. But yet, if they allow Satan to work in them, that the door was open for the enemy. You remember Cain and Abel? Cain, when he was wrong, uh, God says so. Why is that? Eh? Uh, sin is crouching at your door. You must master it. Eh? You must master it. Sin is like that. Satan is like that. Always look for the opportunity. They are crouching at our doorstep. If we are not careful, we do not master it. If we open the door for them, they will come in, not just to destroy us, but it will use us like as he used analysis and try to destroy the church. You remember? Before that, he tried to attack the church from outside, but yet he had fell. Now he tried to attack the church from inside true hypocrisy. So if we do not careful about all this, we will fall into the trap. That's why we need to stand guard and listen to the Holy Spirit to firm uh, up ourselves, not to fall and easily this uh, uh, deceptive by the devil. Uh, if you look at Acts chapter 20, Verse 28 to verse 31. Keep watch over yourself and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseer. Be shepherd of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. I know that after I leave, savage wolf will come in among you and will not spare the flock. 
even from your own number, men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. So be on your guard. Remember that for three years, I never stopped warning each of you night and day with tears. This is the most dangerous attack. It's not from outside, but from inside, from our own people. They will come in and try to uh, uh, draw away the disciple. This is serious. I experienced this in, in Indonesia. The attack is not from the non-believer, but it's from the Christian itself, from other denominations. We try to bring down other churches. Wherever the church is growing and having revival, there will be criticism, there will be rumors, there will be gossip, there will be people who try to find ways to bring down others. If they cannot bring down others, they will try to have someone. Uh, uh, if you like, for instance, if uh, you have host a great revival meeting, I will get another greater revivalist to come. Eh? So we fight the churches there to fight for reputation, to fight for the popularity that sometimes really cause a big damage in the church. That's why people are jumping, hopping around. It is not a new thing there. It's very common. Right? So we try to uh, even draw uh, so-called, we are still other people's ship openly. Yeah. Okay. Many of the church members have been drawn away. Yes. There will always uh, some deception. There will come out some issue, a eh? doctrinal issue, a uh, theological debate, something that is inside the gray zone that people cannot differentiate it, whether it's right or wrong. Uh, but then there is what the flock, the people, were easily deceived by that and that the follow that disciple had drawn away from the church. That I believe is the tactic of the devil. Because God always wants to build up his church, not to destroy the church or even to divide the church. Okay? So be careful of it. Some will come with great reasons. Eh? We fight for the truth, ma. Eh? We fight for this. Eh? We fight in the name of Jesus eh? to protect the church and so on. But anything that causes divisions, you know, definitely is not from the Lord. Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. How uh, the Lord want us, what the Lord want us to do. Okay? And how to do it. In Romans chapter 8, verse 1, verse 5 to verse 8, those who live according to the sinful nature have their mind set on what the that nature desire. But those who live in accordance with the spirit have their mind set on what the spirit desire. The mind of the sinful is death, but the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace. The sinful mind is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who control by the sinful nature cannot please God. That is what happened uh, exactly on uh, Annales and also Safira. Not just after Annales, the wife came, he did the same thing again, and both of them died. This is serious. This is very serious but it is so straightforward from the bible like i mentioned in the beginning it could be a little bit harsh if i say that if you listen you leave you don't listen you die this is what the lord had asked us to do listen to the holy spirit live according to the spirit and say no to the sinful nature if we lean ourselves into the sinful nature that it will bring like the uh, roman chapter 8 say it's death let us put ourselves and you no know, let the holy spirit control us fully reign in us fill us completely so our life 
as we listen to the Holy Spirit and in a, uh, another verse had mentioned in Galatians that we should keep the step keep in step with the Holy Spirit Amen always follow what the Holy Spirit wants us to do the situation there is because somehow people are filled with the Holy Spirit then they started to share their possession to help one another that is what happened in the church today if we see something happening in the church in uh, a bigger body mean the whole church is doing this so we must put ourselves by listening to the Holy Spirit that we move together right do not try to be analyst and Safira because that is something uh, the devil try to use what is inside the church to destroy the church if Peter the day do not dealt with the situation think about it not the gospel will be spread but the hypocrisy of Annalise and Safira has set the example to other e okay uh, eh? they have lie over it and they get through it they can keep some that will become a serious problem in the future of the early church but we thank God Peter as an apostle I strongly believe he have listened to the Holy Spirit and act according what the Lord asked him to do second point that I want to share with you is the Lordship of the church who is the Lord who is the head of the church it's Jesus Christ we are the body of Christ this church is the body of Christ and Christ is the head of this body so in Acts chapter 5 verse 4 Peter said didn't it belong to you before it was sold after it was sold wasn't it the money at your disposal what made you think of doing such a thing you have not lied to man but to God and let us have wrongly put um, have the misconceptions uh, of the Lord of his possessions the Lord of his life definitely analyst had made himself the lord or even safira that they had decided on their own they had made the decision even though it's not right in that time among the church but then they didn't see the lordship of the church if they have seen that is the lord uh, jesus is the lord of the church definitely they will obey they will follow everything that happening in the body of christ they will not lie once they lie to god meaning to say that they already forget about the lordship of christ if we see god is the sovereign god that truly we will not have the god or the bonus the courage to lie to him or to or even to commit to sin sometimes in our life we thought we can do so God is not looking probably God is not here we will have excuses to excuse ourselves and reasons to deny that we have made a mistake we have sinned against the Lord many times in the Bible you will see even King Saul he also denied when he had made mistake he said oh no ma eh? I will keep this later on we can use it to offer to the Lord a better kind of uh, cattle or, or, or sheep or goat here eh? uh, this is denial only a person who willing to own up the mistake a person who will confess to the Lord like David with a broken heart and a contrite spirit God forgave him and in first john chapter 9 verse uh, chapter 1 verse 9 if we confess our sin god is faithful and just he will forgive and cleanse us for, from all our unrighteousness that is the acknowledgement the proclamation about the lordship of the church 
if we see Jesus is the Lord, is the head of the church, we will definitely will keep His command. We will follow the instructions as we listen to the Holy Spirit, where God wants the church to, the directions for the church, like for instance, for this year. So, as the people share their possession, because they know this is from the Lord, because as they filled with the Holy Spirit, definitely they have listened to the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's why they, they have come together to help one another by selling their possession. Anyone will not proclaim, to claim that they have any possession, but share among the people. But yet, Ananias and Sapphira didn't see it. They have taken the Lordship over and uh, own it by their own. Eh? That's why they decide, hey, let's keep some. Let's keep some. Eh? If Christ is the head of the church, definitely we will listen. We will do it accordingly. Acts chapter 4, verse 32 to verse 35. All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of the possession was his own, but they shared everything they had. With great power, the apostle continued to testify the resurrection of Jesus, Lord Jesus, and much grace was upon them all. There were no needy person among them, for from time to time those who owned land of houses said, uh, sold them, bought the money from the sales, and put it up for so feet, and it was distributed of to everyone as he had need. That is the community who acknowledge the lordship of the church, because that is what the church, I mean God, want to do to the church at that time. So what is God doing in our church today? To the church of Good Samaritan. We must learn to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, both on the church and also personally. Because only take two, Annalise and Safira, uh, it can destroy the church. Because by not acknowledging the lordship of the church, but not acknowledging Christ as the head of the church and also not listen to the Holy Spirit. Okay? So Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to verse 11, few verses, then I want to let you know as the Bible has proclaimed that is the Lord. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In James chapter 4 verse 7, Submit yourself then to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. You see? Eh? If you don't submit to God, definitely we will welcome the devil. But because we submit to God, we will say no. To the evil one. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22 to verse 23. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be the head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fill everything in every way. Amen. It's by divine appointment that God made Jesus as the head of the church. The Lord of the church. Submit to Him. Live under this Lordship. Definitely, you will see when the people did so in chapter 4, verse 32 to verse 35, all of them, I believe, they live in a very happy situation because the church was listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit and doing things together according to God's direction simply because they acknowledge the Lordship of Christ in the church. Okay? But then, look at what happened to Annalise and Sapphira. They tried to destroy that happiness. They tried to destroy that community by coming against the view, coming against the directions through the Holy Spirit, definitely they have denied what have they heard 
from the Holy Spirit. So, Peter, I'm not say Peter had performed uh, that as considered as a miracle, but definitely this actions trigger in Acts chapter five, verse eleven. Great fear seized the whole church and all who heard about this event. Okay, amazing. We look at the Bible. Many times God sent or God allowed plagues, disaster, sickness, even land open up, swallow those who have done wrong, uh, fire consume, uh, grow and become leprosy. And uh, some even become the king, like become a wild animal, eating glass until the day he died. Many things happen. Okay? Many things happen where God allowed those things happen. Uh, even he raised up a pagan king to teach about uh, and warn his children, the Israelite, the chosen people. Today, let me remind all of us if something happened whether the perspective from human the view uh, from our view as we look at it is very negative and keep on asking questions like why 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 let me remind you that one of the factor things happen like for instance right now the pandemic, the COVID-19. Do you not think that is a reminder for all of us that we should get back to God? Always things happen either is caused by our own sin or some unexpected event like what happened to Job. Truly God will always dare to teach us some lessons. And most likely, every, all the time, almost all the time, it will serve as a warning. Like he had warned the church, which at that moment, great fear seized all the people. In a Chinese proverb I shared with you before, it's called Sa Yi Jing Bai. You kill one to warn 100. Uh, that story about a concubine, remember? Hey, that general tried to train, but the computer don't listen. And then you know, he chop up that concubine's head so that the other concubine look at it. Oh, the next day when they come back to the drill, they are all listen and obey. Hey, Q1 to 100. But today I want to share with you another one. It's called Sa Ji Xing Ho or Sa Ji Jing Ho. Hey, mean you kill the chicken to warn the monkey. Somehow they say monkey, they were all afraid of blood. So you want to catch them or want them to chase them away, just kill a chicken in front of them. Let them see the blood eh, bursting out from the, from the, from the neck. Then they, when they look at the blood, uh, they will kind of eh, uh, 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 lose control. Eh? Uh, people who try to catch, uh, catch uh, monkey, they will use that method. Last time, I'm not quite sure. Now, lah, eh, during that ancient time, that is the way. Eh? Then uh, you can easily catch a monkey because he see the blood. So you kill the chicken, you warn the monkey. Today, Analyst and Safira serve as a warning to all of us. Okay? Do not deny or refuse to listen to the Holy Spirit and fall into the trap and become the hypocrite that will cause damage and even uh, uh, destroy the church. Remember that all of us are responsible to be part of this body. Guard ourselves, flee from the devil, resist the devil. 
so that we can all live together as a church. And simply because we all listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So may I encourage you, if you want to be sincere and holy in front of God, we must make effort to prove that, to even to guard ourselves, that we are all the time living and keeping our step with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the scripture. It reminds us again about the incidents that happened in chapter 5. Lord, we ask for forgiveness on behalf of the church because sometimes we truly have let loose our God and let the enemy use us, trap us to be one of the hypocrites. Lord, we confess and we want to repent. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Help us to get back to that track, get back to the body of Christ, the body that the church that acknowledged Jesus Christ as the only Lord of the church. Father, help us, O oh Lord. Protect your church. Send your Holy Spirit again to fill all of us. Help us to open our ear to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit always so that our life will live according to the Spirit that will bring life and peace. Father, we commit ourselves into your hand. Help us as we continue to make effort to apply, to make resolutions uh, on the, the Word of God so that our life can uh, change, transform under the Word of God. Father, we commit all this into your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.